done with coffee and slowly getting out of bed but checking the weather and here we are and it is very foggy outside but we're hoping to launch on Tuesday and we've got two full days in between now and then where it does say sunny so that'll be gluing up cabin top day Hopefully get to bottom paint today. We've been talking about launching the boat for quite a while now. And, but we still have probably like, I don't know, 20 projects in, in progress. Oh God. <laughs> so we've narrowed down the essentials and that's painting the hull, getting the prop back in and gluing down the cabin top uh, planking. So we've got yeah. half of that pretty much checked off. I finished That's... the top side red paint. Garrett got the shaft back in mm -hmm. the boat and just got to just got to get a key for the new prop so I can put it on there and then uh, put the nut on the cotter pin and uh, can you get the key at the store here? Yeah. Nice. So that's pretty much all done. Just got to put the put the nut on and then we've got nice weather tomorrow so we'll glue down the cabin top tomorrow hopefully just try to get it all done in one day and then we'll get the bottom paint today at least start bottom painting today and maybe finish it on put the last coat on maybe on, maybe on Monday. Monday yeah <laughs> uh, give the uh, pentels and gudgeons a fresh grease. Oh, that's a good idea. I just want to make that a part of the annual haul out. The boat's definitely showing signs of wear being on the hard, just drying out, even though the last week it's been quite wet in the mornings. Yeah. And we did get rain like two days ago and rain starting to show up on the forecast too. So there's like just kind of not much of like working hours left to stay in the boatyard to really make yeah. it worth it to keep the boat hauled out, not in the water. Cause she'll still dry out even when it's super wet outside, right? Yeah, yeah, it's it's time to go back in for sure. I mean, like you said, we're, we're losing our usable work hours, transitioning into winter. It's gonna start raining more. The boat has handled it really well. Like she hasn't dried out too bad. You know, she's just, it's time. <laughs> and I think we're ready to uh, take a little break too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You kind of get your fill of yard life. You're always dirty because you're always working on the boat and you've always got, you've got all these projects going. So things are always kind of like in Messy. disarray. Instead of doing the dishes, you're like, I got to go paint something. Or, yeah. You know. <laughs> or, in, or instead of, stopping to cook a meal you know stopping at lunchtime and like all right i'm gonna cook a, a decent little meal it's like no i don't have time i gotta get work done so you go to the store motivation package and you get a burrito <laughs> and you pretty much Garrett secretly loves those burritos so they're I don't... really good actually <laughs> but that's the, like yard life i swear it's like it's fueled by beer and burritos <laughs> so for health reasons, <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Uh, also, I think important for me is like realize that sooner or later everyone needs a vacation, and like everyone needs a break. I've been really strict on not taking time away, so I think this winter if we get a slip here, we can tie the boat up and then just drive down south and uh, just take a breather. This would have been a good thing to realize when the winters, when we were first building a boat, were actually winters <laughs> and it was snowing. Garrett got like first degree frostbite or whatever you call it. <laughs> My beard is literally freezing. One day we'll be floating in the tropics and I'll be drinking a margarita. Before we can take that much needed margarita filled break, we first got to rally to launch, which means late nights and early mornings. I 
As if we didn't have enough to do already, we decided to follow through and complete the last planking project, the cabin top. Last time, Garrett nearly finished dry fitting, ending just two pieces short. We've now got the last bit of material needed. We're getting there. After he screws this one in, got just one more plank to fit. And we're going to try and glue this whole cabin top today. It's going to kind of stuff. making our little uh, blue tape gutters. We'll take off the trim and the king plank pieces and then we'll acetone everything down including the back of the planks and then I think we'll be ready for our first batch of epoxy. And Garrett wants to glue down the king plank and the trim pieces of the cabin first and then do all of starboard or all of port. So, we'll see. I don't know what time it is. It's not really early anymore. <laughs> Hopefully we can knock this out today and then not have to deal with big batches of epoxy for a while. You can't blame us for being ambitious, but <laughs> the sun is rapidly setting and we've at least got the trim pieces and the king plank and two main planks down on the cabin top. And everything's prepped, so we'll just get back at it tomorrow. And we don't have any planks to dry fit or much to do besides just mix up the first batch and get going, so manana. Success so far? Success so far. Garrett's checking the screws. We'll reorganize our planks and glue down the rest. It's been so wet in the mornings that we have to cover up the, the whole cabin top to keep it the moisture off. So we were hoping that it was cold enough that the epoxy wouldn't kick completely so we could take the screws out this morning and so far we're having success but I better knock on wood because otherwise I'm gonna jinx Garrett. I'm gonna take off the tape and then put on some clothes I don't care about and we'll get straight into gluing. We've got 
all of our planks are organized and it's like 10 o'clock now and everything's really nice and dry. So hopefully with this little bit of an earlier start, we can get it all done today. It's been so weird. The, we had like rain a couple days ago and then we've had this really eerie fog most mornings and now it's 70 degrees today and we're in the middle of November. Tomorrow will be bottom paint and then we're gonna clean up all of our stuff and we've talked to the yard already so hopefully uh, we'll be able to keep our launch date and it'll be on Thursday. So that's three days. So we've still got a lot to do but I think we both really like working on a crunch and we tend to be more organized that way when we have a deadline. I think we're both really excited to get back in the water. Time to mix our first batch of epoxy. It's always something so satisfying. I don't know why, about being able just to peel the epoxy off of the bucket and still use the bucket like eight more times. And if you're really good, get it all out in one piece. <laughs> Should be mixing now. <laughs> I know, but we gotta explain what's happening. No, you need to, if we're gonna do this, you need to be mixing like three minutes ago. <laughs> to switch to flashlight work but we did finish the entire cabin top so it's all glued down now got it covered just because it's still super dewy uh, so Garrett's got to pull up the screws on that but today we are going to slap on our final coats of bottom paint because we are countdown two days two days left before we launch the boat again yeah feels like crunch time <laughs> but staying super positive and we are gonna get all of this done, I promise. <laughs> yeah, another beautiful day. The last big project in the yard is done. I wish I could say we just kicked back some cold ones until Thursday, but it was a mad rush to clean up our job site and remember all the little things that still had to get done before. So the truck is here. Although haul outs are a normal part of boat life, the nerves don't go away. The lead up to the moment you touch water again is profound. You're exhausted, excited, anxious, and yet too busy to feel the full weight of any of those things. But you'll have to come back next week to see the splash. Thanks for watching everyone, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and support if you can. I'll go mix our first batch of a box. Whoa. I'll go mix our first batch of a box. Time to mix our first batch of a batch of epoxy. This is the mother load. Such a dork.